another angle so you can see more of it. But uh, here you go. I'm trying to show you as much as I can. Now realize, please, please pay attention to this video. There you go, there's that, you know, and the reason why I ask people to look at these videos in depth is because I want them to know what, what they have. I think that he's in pretty good shape. I, I'm not promising anything, I'm promising what is in the video. What I'm showing you is what you are going to get. Don't expect anything more. It does have scratches and you may or not be able to see them in this video. I do promise you that it's a good quality piece and that you can display it, but I'm not promising, this isn't a perfect display item. This isn't something that came out of the factory and sat in storage for 50 years. This was a toy that a kid used. I'm going to go ahead and cut and I'm going to try to show you this exact same left side but from uh, a different angle. I'm going to lay him down on his side so that I can show it to you. Okay, here is Robot Commando on his side. I'm also going to show you the undercarriage, which it is in good condition. There's no like weird battery fluid oddnesses that have gone in there. I have taken off that side. Uh, it is the original screws in the side, or screw. There's only one screw. That top section there, this section actually like it has a lip that fits into there and then the screw goes into there and that's what keeps it in. But I have gone in there and kind of like tried to grease things and I will show you what I've done. I'll try to try. Now from this angle you can see that his badge you can see the glue from the badge that used to be there. I did not remove it. It was just not there whenever I walked. So there you go. Now I believe this is this left arm. I've had problems trying to get it to line up perfectly with this part right here so that it'll flip over and throw a, a thing. Sometimes I can get it, sometimes I can't, but of course it's a 50 year old toy. I just can't get it to always do it perfectly. I mean, I wish I had a perfect toy, but like I said, this is not just sat in storage in the factory. This was a kid's toy. So, you know, you've got to fiddle with it to get it to work exactly perfect. There's the top of it. Now I'll go ahead and cut and I'll show you the right side. Here's the right side. Now let me zoom in just a little bit more than what I have. Now again, I'll flip him over on the side in just a minute to show you more of it. Now, oddly enough, the right side arm seems to, at least I think it's the right, I know one side of the, of the robot perfectly throws the missile, so one side doesn't. I'm pretty sure that it's the right side that does it okay all the time. Is that right? Was it the right side? No. Yeah. yeah. The right or side the right arm does, does it okay. okay. The left side's kind of weird. And of course, I'll show that in a little while. After I show the full profile. Of course here you can see the Robot Commando badge. The R is missing. I do have uh, a reproduction badge that you can put on it if you want to. I'm not going to do it. You the collector can do that. I'm not a collector. You guys know what you want. So I'm going to let you know what you want. Please tell me what you want, how you want me to package it, how you want me to ship it, if you want insurance, if you want anything, tell me. You know, 
know, I'll do anything you want. I mean, within reason. I may have to charge more if you want me to ship it in gold, platinum, brick, air containers or something. You know, whatever you want. But, you know, I'm reasonable. I'll go ahead and turn it on the side. We'll see that. Alright, I got this guy turned on his side. And again, you can sign, kind of see the undercarriage. Of course, I'm not showing that to you yet. I'll show that to you eventually, but you can kind of see it. It's in decent shape. Some good rollers there. And again, the, the side compartment. And I will open up each side compartment so that you can see on the inside. Each side, I had to do just a little bit of an adjustment to make this guy uh, work in some of the ways that he works. Uh, and of course, I can get rid of that as soon as you want. I just wanted to do it to show. You know, some of you guys probably know way more about this stuff, and I, I, I really don't want to mess this thing up. You know, I don't know much about this stuff and how you guys are stored them, so please don't be upset with me just because I don't know. You know, I, I'm really sorry, but I, I know of these things. It seems like the more I explain about items, the more guys get upset for me not knowing the details. So, you know, I don't know the details, and I'm an old film guy. I collect film equipment and lenses and cameras and stuff, so I don't know as much about this stuff as you guys do. Please instruct me. Please tell me. I will do exactly what you want. There he is, in the complete profile. Now that, that side arm, as far as I know, that's the one that works really well. Uh, it seemed to me that if the uh, left side arm were able to be bent down a little bit, that it would be able to slide along this thing a little bit better and go. Because it, it seems like the way it is, the, there's a lever on this side of the thing that turns and moves up just a little bit on the other side and, and the, uh, the little bit that usually would catch on the underside here it goes on the top side and because of that whenever it flips around it doesn't really flip around it just gets kind of pulled and then it just kind of like flops and so it doesn't throw it so if the other side was just able to be pushed down a little bit more it it would probably be able to catch uh, on the underside instead of the top side and flip. But I don't want to force it. I didn't want to like accidentally crack the plastic or something by trying to force the thing down. Uh, so there you go. I'm going to go ahead and cut and uh, I'm going to show you the front side. Okay, here's the front of the Robot Commando. As you can see, uh, the treads and uh, of course, uh, I don't know how much of a robot commando expert you are, but uh, the treads are only, these uh, inside ones are fake. The outside ones are the ones that are actually the treads. Uh, and they're all pretty good. Uh, of course, I'll show you it in action. Show you moving. Uh, he doesn't move perfectly left and right, but he will move forward. I'll show you all that stuff. Now let's go ahead and move up a little bit. Now, of course, I, I have not been able to identify any cracks. I'm not promising you things. You guys know where these things are. So if you know where the cracks normally end up, you need to ask me to look in a specific place. And I will look there. I'm willing to do that. That's where the extra money comes in with all the film guys. That's why you pay a few more dollars with me. It's because of my customer service and my willingness to show you these things and my skills with camera to show you every single detail before you buy it. I am here for the serious collector and you need to tell me about these things. Unless this is an auction. This is an auction. I, there will be a small disclaimer saying that this is an auction and that I'm not taking as much care of it. Because if this, I usually list all my things as buy it now items first, 
if you don't purchase it as a bite now, I will not take as much care with it. The packaging, unless you pay extra, you have to pay more. You need to tell me that you're looking for a certain kind of packaging on a bite now. You don't need to tell me that. On a bite now, I've already kind of figured in more so that I'm totally dedicated to what you want. But if it's an auction item, like say this Robot Commando was sold for $5, I am not going to give you the level of customer service as compared to what I did was by now. Most of you guys know that this would never go for $5, but that's just an example. And I think you understand that if this accidentally sold for $5, I would be contractually ob obligated to send it out. In that instance, I would not take as much care. I would just put it in a box, throw whatever it is for packaging contents, and just like give it to someone. Understand that you need to tell me specifically what you want. Even whenever it's a buy now, you need to tell me because I'm not an expert on this stuff. But I will take as much care as I know how to do. I'm not an expert. You need to tell me. I am here for you. You are the customer and you understand this stuff very, very intimately. I am not a robot commando collector. So please, please tell me how you want this. I am here for you, the customer. Now, there you see the, uh, can I zoom in closer on that? Let me see, yeah, I can. Uh, you can see that that's, this is the original Robot Commando badge. Now I showed you earlier that I have uh, a reproduction one. If you wanted to, you could put it on there. But I'm leaving this one on there. I'm not taking it off, so I don't know what you want. And over here, you can see the glue from the old badge. And I showed you the badge earlier. Now you can put the reproduction badge on there if you want it, some glue, but I'm not going to do it. You can do it. I'm not a collector of these guys, so I'm not sure what you want. If you want me to put that on there before I ship it out, I will put it on there. But you need to tell me that, and you will need to have, have paid for the item first. Just winning the auction isn't enough. You'll have to pay me. But then send me a message saying that you want me to glue that on because if say you were to back out and not pay I wouldn't want to have to force that badge that reproduction badge being on there onto the next person although it is available I will ship it with the eye so there you go now I'm gonna go ahead and cut here and show this guy uh, tipped over Okay, because of the way that he's designed, I had to tip him over the other way. Uh, and I'm going to go this way. This, I'll try to zoom in as much as I can to show you. Like, there's the eyes there. Uh, his mouth. I'll zoom out a little bit and you can see his shoulders and such. The badge area that I already talked about. I'm going to get some really good focus, as good as I can get on this area. So that area, there's going to get good in on the rollers. Okay, so that's as good as I can get. Of course, if you want closer, you need to tell me a specific area that you want to close up. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut. I'm going to actually show the undercarriage of the robot command. Okay, here we go with the undercarriage. Now, because of the fact that uh, he doesn't want to sit on his head, of course, uh, he's sitting in between my legs. Hopefully I don't move around too much to the point where you can't see. But one of the most important parts that I'll try to show you is the battery compartment. Trying to get some really good focus on it. I try to move up and down it. You'll see that it's really nice and clean. And each one of the little 
battery brackets is in 